Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fall autumn makeup tutorial. So I did one of these last year on my channel. I will link that down below if you're interested in watching. And I thought I'd do another one um, again for this year, but it'll be slightly different to last year's. I think last year's one was more purple toned. I believe and I think today I'm gonna go for more um, reddish cranberry colors um, but we'll see I'm just gonna play around and see what I think looks nice um, so yeah it's a fall makeup tutorial today right now it is um, the fall it's autumn yeah in the UK we call it autumn in the US it's called fall either one um, it's still that time of year where the leaves are falling off the trees um, it's starting to get colder, um, starting to get darker nights um, and I do love the time going through into the winter. Winter is my favourite time of the year. Um, I definitely prefer it over the summer. I prefer cosy, cushy nights um, and snow and Christmas. That's definitely my favourite time of year. So now in autumn we are pushing slowly towards uh, winter which is great which is what I love so that's enough rambling <laughs> let's just get started okay so I'm just gonna prime my face using the Barry M flawless hydro fix primer water okay and for foundation today I am using the max factor face finity all day flawless 3-in-1 foundation and this is the shade warm almond and I'm using my real techniques expert face brush Okay, so now I am actually going to use some cream contour before I do my concealer um, and then I'll just set my whole face. So I'm using my NYX Wonder Stick um, Highlight and Contour Stick and this is in the shade Light Medium and I'm just going to be using the contour side and I'm just going to contour where I would normally contour, you know the drill. And I'm gonna try using this e.l.f. contouring brush to blend it in, but usually I prefer to blend in cream contours with a sponge, but I'll try this, and if not, I'll just switch to my Real Technique sponge. Mm, I'm gonna use a sponge. <laughs> Okay, so for a concealer, I'm using my collection Last Imperfection Concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face using this MUA one pound pressed uh, translucent powder. This is actually like a pound, right? And I actually think it's pretty okay. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best powder and I wouldn't say it's the worst. I would say like it's, it's good for like drugstore, I would say. Like, obviously my NYX HD um, finishing powder is better, but this is like... A fraction of the price and it's still pretty good so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use my elf small tapered brush to set underneath my eyes okay so I'm gonna use my NYX uh, go-to palette and I'm just gonna pop this shade right here through my crease and I'm gonna use my M441 brush by Morphe Okay, so I'm going to use this NYX uh, Hot Single Eyeshadow in the shade Flustered. Flustered? Flus no, Fluster Red. Yeah, Fluster Red. So like Flustered, but Fluster Red. And I'm going to use my Morphe E19 brush. And yeah, this is quite an intense colour. Um, but I'm going to pop this through the crease. As long as you go in with a light hand, you can always build it up. That's what I think. If you're going too heavy with too much product, then what are you going to do? So just start lightly and build. And now I'm just going to take 
back from the NYX Go To palette, I'm just going to take this colour here um, and I'm going to use this oh, Eco Tools brush. I don't know if it has a name, but it's from like, you know, the Duo set. And I think this is the blend side and it has a smudge side. Don't know the name, but I'm going to take this on this brush and I'm just going to pop it um, on the outer corners. Okay, now I'm going to take my Sigma E40 uh, blending brush and I'm just going to blend everything. Everything. It has no product on this brush. I am literally just going to go and blend all these harsh lines everywhere. And I am going to go back in with that single uh, shade here um, just to intensify that a little bit more because it has got blended away. Okay, now back into this NYX palette. I like this palette, can you tell? And um, now with the other side of that Eco Tools brush, this smudge side, is it called smudge? Yeah, smudge, it's obviously for like smoking out, but I am gonna use this to apply some of this highlight shade um, to the rest of the lid, the inner third of the lid. Okay, now I'm gonna take the same colors that I've used um, all over my eye. I'm just gonna use the smudge brush and I'm just gonna brush those and smoke those out underneath the lower lash line, all the same colours that I used on top. Okay, now I am going to use some black eyeliner, only a little bit, and this is the Scandal Eyes Rimmel Waterproof Call Eyeliner in black. I'm just going to smoke that out with the um, 17 eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to use my number 7 eyelash curlers and my Kiko mascara. Okay, next up I'm going to use my NYX Control Freak Clear Eyebrow Gel. Okay, now I'm going to use my e.l.f. contour palette and I'm going to use the contouring shade um, on this e.l.f. contouring brush that I mentioned earlier. And then I'm going to use the bronzy uh, part and I'm going to use this Real Techniques blush brush. Now for blush, I'm using my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek blush in the shade Between the Sheets. And I'm using my Multitask brush by Real Techniques as always. And then I'm going to use my Colourpop Lunch Money Highlighter as well. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Satin Brush, but I'm not going to go in too heavy handed. I'm just going to put a little bit because I don't want to be too glowy in the fall. You know, that's more of a summer thing. Okay, and for lipstick, I'm using this e.l.f. Uh, Beautifully Bay Satin Lipstick. And this is in the shade Touch of Berry. Okay, so this is the completed look. I absolutely love this makeup look. This is so fally <laughs> and so autumnal. Um, oh, I really love it. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already so you can see all my other videos and turn on the notification bell so you'll get notified every single time I upload. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all very soon. Bye.